In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Kazan City. Today is Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Isabella San Luis SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude the Deus will now begin. St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all hopeless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding. Desolations, endless pleading, saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client's suppliant, saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client's suppliant. Human hearts in desperation Meet the dreary toils of life Countless thousands have you strengthened We are your power in their strife Your warm love turns abating for the hopeless ever wailing Saint of God, Magnificent Hear the Saint, Saint of God, Magnificent Hear thy glorious In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, and all those who are tuned to our uh, live streaming, welcome to our novena to St. Jude to the Youth. Let us uh, pray for our special intentions, especially uh, for peace in the world, particularly in Ukraine. As our Holy Father said, we pray that uh, this war uh, will end. And we also pray for <coughs> our intentions, particularly those who are having problems with uh, financial difficulties, and also for uh, various problems in the family or also in workplaces. And so, uh, let us pray. St. Jude in his letter says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the grace we need to follow faithfully his son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles <clears throat> have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saint Jude that the church may constantly grow by the increase of the people who believe in you, 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Short reading. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to St. Jude. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, a Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, a Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, a Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray for us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray for us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master, humble himself to wash his feet, pray have for us. Have mercy on us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who, after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had the consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray for us. Saint Jude who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray for us. Saint Jude who converted many people to the faith. Pray for us. Saint Jude who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray for us. Saint Jude who restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray for us. Novena prayer. Together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude, glorious, glorious apostle, apostle, faithful, faithful servant, servant, and friend of Jesus, Jesus, the name of the person who betrayed our Lord has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the, the true Church, church invokes you universally as the patron of the desperate. Pray for me who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolations and the succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly the following. And that, I may bless God with the elect throughout eternity. Saint Jude, worker of miracles, please pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, almighty and eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Concluding acclamation, together we acclaim. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, Aid me in my distress. 
Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. So after our devotion to Saint Jude to the use, we now proceed to our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we come together uh, to pray for our intentions and um, also to ask the Lord's forgiveness for our failings and our sins, our failings to be charitable, our uh, lack of faith uh, sometimes, and also um, lack of forgiveness um, to uh, certain people we are not in good terms with. Now let us ask the Lord's forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpassed the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you before, words whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Are you stupid? After be beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain? If indeed in it was in vain. Thus then, the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you, do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard. The Word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies.
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. We honor the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, <clears throat> Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. But father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for for an egg. If you then were wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The uh, teaching of our Lord in today's gospel is uh, encouraging for each and every one of us because he said that um, if you ask, um, you will receive. Um, then he says, seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. So uh, that is what our Lord is uh, uh, telling us and uh, again reminding us so it is with regard to prayer um, well we know that um, if we are persever persevering in our prayer to persistent that uh, God will give us what uh, we want uh, which is good for ourselves Alam ninyo, limbawa si Saint Jude Tadeus, uh, he's the saint of the impossible. Um, for example, uh, when I was still in Saint Jude Tadeus near Malacanang, uh, you know, there were many students coming for uh, prayers, uh, especially before their board examinations or bar examination. Um, and uh, uh, many of them uh, were granted their uh, petition for their requests. Mayroong ang isang estudyante na mag-bar examination. At uh, sabi niya sa akin, Father, Ipanalangin mo naman ako dahil alam mo, Father, um, 
I am, I am afraid because um, I feel that uh, I uh, am not uh, prepared for the bar exam. It's my first time. Sabi niya, uh, sabi ko, okay, I'll pray for you. But she was always going uh, to the uh, uh, novena to St. Jude Tadeus. And uh, <clears throat> to make a long story short, nung uh, uh, tinignan ko doon sa result uh, sa newspaper, those who uh, passed the bar examination, na doon po yung ganyang uh, pangalan. So I was uh, happy uh, that uh, uh, she got an answer to uh, her prayers. Pero um, alam ninyo nung pumasa na siya, hindi ko na nakikita doon sa simbahan sa St. Jude. Kaya sabi ko, oh, ano naman magpasalamat siya kay St. Jude. Um, <clears throat> siguro babalik na naman dito pag may hinihingi uh, sa Panginoon o oh, kay St. Jude to the youth. Siguro pag siya ay uh, maghahanap ng magiging asawa you know, the next time. Um, so, uh, this is one example of uh, the power of uh, prayer. And um, of course, we cannot uh, also get what uh, we all uh, we all want. Our Lord says um, <clears throat> that uh, we should uh, uh, continue to pray persistently. However, uh, we may do this, but sometimes we do not get what we are asking for. But we should remember three things that God answers uh, uh, yes, the other could be no, and the other could be wait. The no can be uh, maybe uh, something that is not in the plan of God. So for example, uh, the story of a certain Frenchman in the uh, name of, uh, the name of uh, Martin, uh, Louis Martin, you know, he uh, uh, entered the seminary and he wanted uh, to become a priest. And uh, Louis Martin did not uh, make it to the priesthood because he was sickly. Mayroon uh, siyang tuberculosis. So he was very disappointed when the superior told him that uh, he was not uh, meant to be to become a priest and you know the next thing he did was to look for work and then got married to certain Cecilia uh, Celia Guarin and you know the uh, the children at alam niyo kung uh, ilan mga sampu ang kanyang mga anak. Noong panahon na yon wala pang uh, birth control. No? Kaya <laughs> sampu ang naging anak. But, uh, you know, four of the, uh, of the girls entered the convent. And uh, there was one of the sisters, the Carmelite uh, sister, who was very devout and extraordinary in her sanctity. At alam ninyo, itong uh, uh, third ay uh, si uh, St. Saint, uh, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. Siya po ang naging uh, Millennium Saint of uh, the Church and at the same time uh, missionary uh, uh, the the patron saint of 
missionaries. So you see, my dear brothers and sisters, the answer of the petition of uh, um, uh, Louis Guarin and uh, also uh, this uh, Martin was for him to become a priest. But Christ said no. And the plan of God was that he produced a child who became one of the great saints of the church. Kaya, we do not know sometimes the plan of God. Man proposes, God disposes. So, uh, maybe if we can get what we are asking for, uh, we will just have to, uh, uh, we just have to wait, maybe. You know, there was a uh, husband who was uh, suffering from cancer, cancer of the lungs, and it was already at fourth stage. And the mother told the children to pray, and uh, they prayed uh, hard and long. But then what happened was, you know, the uh, husband, the father of the children passed away. The children said, Mama, bakit naman ganon? Ganyan ba si Lord? Well, the mother answered this way. Anak, alam ninyo, uh, masakit yung cancer ng inyong papa. And it was already advanced. God must have stopped his sufferings by taking him to heaven. So, dear brothers and sisters, as the saying goes, man proposes, but God disposes. Now, we do not know um, how God uh, disposes of our uh, proposals, but we should continue to pray for our intentions. Kasi sabi ng ating Panginoon dito, na ask and you will find, uh, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open unto you. So, uh, uh, you know, the uh, mother of uh, Saint uh, Augustine, when Augustine was still living a very worldly life, nagkaroon pa siya ng anak sa labas. At, uh, alam niyo, pinagdarasal ng kanyang ina, si Monica, for almost 20 years. Dahil he was uh, really uh, uh, playboy. He was, uh, uh, did not... Uh, that uh, have any uh, thing to do with religion. But you know, after for almost 20 years of Monica's praying, itong si Augustine ay nagbago at uh, alam nyo, yung kanyang uh, pagbabago ay hanggang sa pumasok siya sa pagkapare, naging obispo, at ngayon siya na ang Saint Augustine, one of the greatest saints of the church. And all because of the persistent prayer of the mother, Mother Saint Monica. So, dear brothers and sisters, as somebody said, <laughs> prayer is the strength of people. Those who pray, it says, um, <clears throat> uh, those who pray uh, will uh, uh, be strengthened of, um, of the will of God. The more we pray, the more God becomes weak. And the more we also continue to pray, then our Lord will uh, become weaker and we become stronger and He, God, 
will give him to our petitions. Amen. Christ makes a promise, ask and it will be given to you. Let us come to our Heavenly Father with trust and confidence. A response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That, the, that as church, we may be committed to a sincere and deep life of prayer. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer that active people may learn to integrate prayer in their work. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may persist in prayer, no matter how discouraged we may be in life's misfortunes. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their prayers and sacrifices with Christ's suffering. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank you for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society. May the true Bayanian spirit prevail among all of us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be raised up with Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We uh, I'll pray also for Rosie Suntai, celebrating her birthday, uh, Lita Ilano, uh, Joe Valencia, Marie Rose Navarro, Johnny Helen C., uh, Paul uh, Carol Gallan, Anita Marie Ilanis, and Bernadette Del Valle. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you are generous beyond our imagination and ways we do not understand. Hear the prayers we make through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your command, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete this sanct sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you were to whom you made all things whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop, Onesto the Glorchi, and your faithful people gathered here and also those who join us in this live streaming Mass. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be uh, married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Your brothers and sisters, before we uh, greet one another with the sign of peace, let us uh, uh, remember um, those who uh, need peace, uh, unity, and uh, respect for one another. For example, people uh, who uh, <coughs> uh, have conflicts as in war, with uh, one another and we pray that uh, this uh, war uh, which has been going on for almost uh, five months uh, will end as uh, soon as possible and let us also pray for peace in our country uh, there uh, will uh, be no violence and killing and uh, also injustices and finally peace in our in our homes um, that there is forgiveness uh, for our failings for one another but what is important is that we uh, reconcile one another husband and wife children and parents. So now let us uh, 
offer to one another the prayer of uh, a sign of peace to one another. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. This is our Lord Jesus Christ in the form of bread and wine. He gives himself as our spiritual nourishment. Happy are we who are invited to partake of this heavenly banquet. Behold, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. By the body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Interata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the coronavirus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. St. Pedro Calunzol. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynadimitz. Pray for us. Uh, before the final blessing, uh, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, those who have uh, helped us and um, who have uh, donated uh, for, to our Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship Program. So um, um, we need uh, seminarians very, uh, very uh, badly because without our seminarians, we cannot uh, have uh, priests, uh, missionaries, uh, bishops, and even popes uh, because they all start as uh, seminarians. So uh, uh, thank you for your support and uh, may I uh, continue to um, appeal, uh, especially since there are more seminarians uh, here now in Christ the King and uh, uh, their families are hard up, especially those who uh, had been uh, uh, suffering from the uh, uh, very long pandemic uh, uh, situation. So if you wish to donate, you may um, uh, send through uh, my BDO savings account, uh, Father Isabelo San Luis, and uh, the account number is uh, 000-2200-51623. Or you may email me at bellspd at gmail.com. Thank you, and God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and protect you from harm and uh, evil. And uh, may St. Jude grant also your petitions, uh, especially those who have dropped uh, petition offerings in the box and their blessed mother mother of the holy rosary uh, bless you especially 
during this month of October. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord with St. Jude Tadeus. Thanks be to God. Yeah.